Hello, this is Johnny Ford. I'm honored to serve as the founding co-chair, along with the Honorable Webster Guillory, the fellow, my fellow co-chair of the National Policy Alliance. This is an organization that represents some 11,000 black elected and appointed officials. And it is made up of the nine national presidents of the 10 national black public policy organizations, which include the Congressional Black Caucus, the National Black Caucus of State Legislators, the National Black Caucus of County Officials, NBC Leo, which includes the National Black Caucus of Local Elected Officials, the National Conference of Black Mayors, the National Bar Association, and the Judicial Council, Blacks in Government, which represents more than 2.5 million black government employees at the local, state, and national level. The National Black Organization of School Board Members, the World Conference of Mayors, and the National Conference of Black Mayors. This is the organization that has had uh, the honor of meeting with President Barack Obama, and he's asked us to advise him on public policy. Well, that's why I'm making this statement today. Mr. President, your National Policy Alliance has gone on record asking you to intervene in a court case in Alabama, the bingo trial in Alabama, a trial that has spent more than $30 million, approximately $30 million of our hard-earned tax dollars, a trial that has spent millions of dollars and has found no one guilty. Now, Mr. President, it is being proposed to retry the persons that uh, were not uh, uh, found innocent. No one was found guilty, mind you, but uh, it is proposed that this trial be retried. Mr. President, the federal judge who is overseeing this case, the Honorable Myron Thompson, an African-American judge appointed by uh, President Jimmy Carter, a person who is serving as the federal judge on this particular case, has filed an order into the court stating that the persons who were responsible, many of those who were uh, responsible for uh, perpetuating this trial and causing this trial in the first place, Republicans, those persons lack credibility because of statements made which reek of racism, statements which uh, have displayed naked racism and contempt toward the black community. The federal judge, Myron Thompson, has had the courage to stand up and make this statement. He has the courage of the late Frank Johnson, who was brave and courageous to stand up against racism in the South as a United States federal judge. It makes us very proud to see Judge Myron Thompson now speak out and say that the persons who were involved in this case, their motive, instead of a motivation toward justice, it was a motivation towards race, prejudice, contempt to the black community. And their intent was to discourage and to prevent blacks and Democrats and minorities from voting on issues passed by the Alabama legislature, particularly this issue, the gaming issue. Therefore, now that a United States federal judge has said what many of us have been saying for many months, many of us have been marching, many of us have been demonstrating and speaking out on this issue, to have a United States federal judge say that this case is political, there is, there is a racial intent that's involved in this case, 
and it is designed by the Republicans who are in power in the Alabama legislature, those involved in this trial and this case, their purpose instead of uh, being for justice, it is instead an effort to prevent minorities and blacks in particular from having the opportunity to vote on gaming issues that would come uh, before the people of Alabama. That's wrong. Therefore, we're asking the President of the United States of America to now intervene in this case, put an end to this trial. Why? Because as long as this trial goes on, it is one, spending our, our hard-earned tax dollars, number two, Thousands of people remain out of work because as long as this trial goes on, it adversely affects the gaming industry. That is why we're saying, Mr. President, intervene. Do something to stop what is happening in Alabama. Just as late presidents like John Fitzgerald Kennedy, uh, President Lyndon Johnson, uh, the late Attorney General Bobby Kennedy, those persons had the courage and the compassion to intervene in Alabama during the Civil Rights days. We're now calling upon our president to intervene, to help us in Alabama, because down here in Alabama in 2011, it's as bad as it was during the 1960s. Why? Because the Republicans control everything. They control the Supreme Court, they control the governor's office, they control the Alabama legislature, and they are now still controlling the United States Department of Justice under the Obama administration. It is unfair, Mr. President, under your administration to allow this trial to continue to be retried because as long as this goes on, it is perpetuating and persecuting hard-working people who are now out of work, people who want to have their voting rights, people who have fought for their civil rights in 2011 to have their rights being taken away by the United States Department of Justice which is designed to, to, to make sure that justice is a reality in the state of Alabama. So again, on behalf of the National Policy Alliance and on behalf of the Honorable Webster Guillory, my co-chair, and all of the presidents of the national organizations, we again reiterate our position, and that is we're calling upon the President of the United States of America to say to the Attorney General, stop this trial in Alabama because as long as it is ongoing it is a political trial that is depriving the people in Alabama of their voting rights their civil rights and their economic rights as hard as the president is fighting for jobs it makes no sense in this day and time to allow a trial to continue which is taking away jobs in Alabama. More than 10,000 people are out of work because of this trial. So again, I'm speaking out not only as the co-chair of the National Policy Alliance, but as a former state legislator who introduced this bingo gaming legislation in the first place that created an industry in Alabama that created thousands of jobs throughout the state of Alabama and now those jobs have been taken away. So again, Mr. President, please step up to the plate and intervene and help the people in Alabama. Thank you very much.